Hello, I'm Tarla Dalal speaking. Today, I'm going to make a famous dish from Gujarat called Undyu. Are traditionally made and people come just for Undia party. Either they serve with chicken or hot jalebis and you will see Gujarat, special Surat, Ahmedabad, full of Undia parties. Every morning or I would say Sunday morning, people have lovely Undia parties. Well, let's make a Undia, but not the way traditionally made. We are trying to do it simpler because the housewives don't have that much of time. So we are going to do it in a pressure cooker and very fast and very little oil. Before we start making Udya, I would like to explain to you what is required to, to make Udya. There are lots of things, but the first stage what you need, the vegetables. That's what I'm trying to show you. This is papri. It's available during the month of uh, November to March end. Uh, almost available throughout India. But you can use other papri available in the market also. These are the potatoes, small potatoes. Brijol. Purple yam. What is it? Purple yam. Well, you get in the market lots of varieties of yam. But this is purple yam is available almost throughout the year in Mumbai city. But I won't know other places. But you can use yellow yam. So whatever yam variety you can get in the market, you can use it. And this is a sweet potato. What is it? The sweet potato, which is required to, it gives a very nice taste. So these are the first ingredients for, we are going to use for the making of the undia. Okay. The first stage of preparing the papris is clean them nicely. These are the lovely papris. These are the danas which come out from the papri. You can use half of them. Half of them we add later. These are the danas. We add salt. You know why are we adding this from the beginning? To make the papri soft. To make the papri soft. This is a ajwai, the heart of undia. The heart of undia is ajwai. That's the main texture. And you know ajwai call it is. They say don't give stomach upset. So this is ajwai. Now I'm adding soda by ka. Leave this at least for half an hour so that it becomes nice and soft. This is the first stage of undia. So now we make the second stage of, of undia. Uh, that is mutia. For mutia, you need fresh methi bhaji. You can call it fenugreek leaves or methi bhaji, whatever you like it. So we take a lot of methi bhaji, then we put in besan. Very little wheat flour, oil to make it soft, little haldi, little chilli powder, salt, fenugreek leaves are little bitter, so it requires sugar. We add a little bit of green chilli and ginger paste, very little. So that's how it is done and now Mix it very well. Add water. So this is ready. Apply oil to your hands. The softer the mixture, mutia will be softer. That's the way I feel. Our mutias are ready and we are going to fry the mutia. I want to tell you one thing that if somebody is very particular or who is on diet, you put this mutias in microwave just for 30 seconds. How much? 30 seconds. They become firm. One thing, fry it always in a non stick pan. It takes less oil. See, they are getting ready. 
nicely. See, it's soft inside. Our muchias are ready. Now we bake the masalas. So what you need, the main ingredient for the heart of the is a grated fresh coconut. Then fresh coriander leaves. Well, if you like green garlic, please add it a little bit. Now we add salt, little sugar, darajira powder, red chilli powder, little bit of lemon juice. So we mix it well together and taste it and add little more chilies if you like later. You have to taste the masala, how you like it. I'm going to taste it. It requires green chilli paste, that's it. Our masala is ready and we are ready to start making undia. Now, you've seen these vegetables, right? Brinjal, all these things. But let me do one thing. I'll take out in a small bowl a little bit of masala to stuff the bananas. So I'll take out a little bit here for the masalas to put into the bananas, okay? So now we are ready to start. So, stuff the brinjals a little bit, that's it. Cook it with love, I'm sure it will come out very well. Some people don't like brinjal, they don't put it. But those Udiya lovers, they think uh, Bijal is a heart of Udiya. Anyway, now these are all our vegetables that are going into the masala. And mix it very, very well. This is now ready for cooking. So we start cooking. Heat the oil. We need to add a dry end. Let it get hot. Ajwan is getting ready. Now add asafoetida. Now we are going to add. You remember we prepared the paplis? Add the vegetables. Wow. The remaining danas. And little water. How much? Very little water. To the water, you add little salt, little haldi, dalajira, and a bit of sugar. Mix it well and add to the bhaji. Add. Cook for two whistles. The pressure cooker, we have got two whistles on. It's ready. Let it get cooled down. Meanwhile, we'll take firm and ripe bananas. Cut into three parts. And then make a slit in the center. Make a slit in the center. So now, you remember, we put the extra masalas on the side. That is this masala. So we are going to stuff this banana with this mixture. Bananas ready and we wait for the pressure cooker to get ready to open it. So let's open. Wow, it looks nice and ready. So I'm going to transfer it to a, a vessel. And then again cook for a few minutes. Wow, it's looking nice. See, oh, there is looking good, no? Just ready. Actually, unda is cooked in only in oil and practically no water. But if you want to eat it a light undia, you have to add little water. And it comes out very, very nice. Now the final stage is to put... Remember, we made the mutias. Wow. 
add the banana. Cook for a while on a very slow flame for 10 minutes. And press the banana inside so they cook faster. Press the banana inside, they cook faster. So now we are going to cover and cook for at least 10 minutes. All the steam will cook the bananas and the potatoes. Our undia is ready and now we are going to serve. See, you can see the papri, you can see the bananas, you can see all the vegetables. Undia is ready. Put a little green garlic on top. So, what do you think of our undia? Is it easy to do it? So, try this undia and let me know how it comes out. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them. I'm waiting for them.